Whatever the case, ladies and gentlemen, I am giving you this game right here between Dignitas Bishu. He is in the yellow trunks and he is playing Protoss to the southeast of this particular map, which is the Taldrim Alter versus his opponent Millennium Stefano, currently at one game in this best of three series. He is playing Zerg in the pink trunks to the southwest. So these are the best positions Bishu could have asked for here, is to get these positions where on the same side so that he actually can't go ahead. Uh, I mean, he can go ahead and do some kind of aggressive build. You know, two Void Rays, seven Gate is very good here. Uh, double Stargate is good here. There's a lot of varieties that Bishu can play and pull out against Stefano. I don't think that Bishu wants to play a macro game against Stefano. I mean, who would? <laughs> no. <laughs> Are you crazy? No, that's a terrible idea. That actually sounds worse than Chinese water torture. I wouldn't want to do that uh -huh. at all. That's. It is awful to play up to the sort of late stages with Stefano. You've seen what he can do. He. I think, honestly, there isn't anything he can't do. That's just a quicker way of saying it. What can't Stefano do at the late game? And uh, I wonder... This is still, actually thinking about it, this is still the winner bracket. So whoever loses will go down into the low bracket yep. where there's a, a feasty bling, dark force, or tails to go up against. So yep. uh, that, I, I see him lurking not, over there, in fact. It's like, hmm, who will be my next opponent? I shall eat him. Indeed. And uh, so far, we have the spawning pool going down for Stefano. Don't want to go Hatchery first against a player that is going to go forge. We actually see a double scout as well from Bishu, making sure that there is no early pool coming out. That, so he can scout it, basically. Especially if he only sends one probe in scout's last position, he could just snap die to, to a six pool or seven, eight pool. That he can, and he doesn't want that to happen, so... <laughs> looks like we're going to get a straight-up play from Stefano. It's, it's fairly uncommon to see a 7 or 6 pull. In fact, almost never happens from mm. Stefano. But we have seen things like 10 and 11 pull from him, which is, of course, meant to uh, just force a little bit of a reaction there from a Forge Fast expansion, getting a cannon just a little bit earlier, and exploit anyone that's made a mistake. And you never know. Sometimes that can happen. We see games uh, from high-level Zerg where they'll just go in and see, huh, has my opponent made an error that I could maybe exploit? And then they get an unexpected win out of that. And they don't really lose anything from doing that. And Bishu's actually throwing down a second pylon before the Nexus here. And usually it's about 18 Nexus, but it was 19. And basically what he's been doing is focusing heavily on pro production. And, and the, by the way, the, the cannon comes down as well because of the spawning pool, of course. He has to be careful. The Lynx might get there in time. It should be okay, though. The thing is, they might try to run by. So Blink has... I mean, not Blink, sorry. Bishu has to be careful about that. And uh, the second pylon allows him to be so greedy with his pro production. Being a little bit uh, kind of uncautious with that. But at the same time, he's got the cannon up. He's safe to do so. And uh, double gas is taken as well straight away. Oh, yes, yeah, so nothing really wrong with that. And a nice setup here. He hasn't walled off yet. He doesn't really need to. There's not enough links on the map to justify it. And he's only seen two links out there as well. Got a lot of decent scouting information. Seeing the Queen transferred, seeing the drones coming out as well. And a really quick third right here from Stefano. Yeah, 4 minute 33rd, gasless. Uh, we'll want to start gas soon, of course, so we can get the speed upgrade. Yep. And uh, we do have an overlord in a bit of a cheeky position here, actually. Oh, just yes. Just above the forge, which is obviously so frustrating for any uh, uh, for any Protoss player. And a second cannon being made, surprisingly, here by Bishu. Feeling a little bit cautious. Stefano can go ahead and go Roachling, or even Bailings can be used as well. So yep. building a second cannon, super cautious here. And the gas count is starting to rise now for Bishu. Still chrono boosting heavily into the Nexus. So it doesn't look like he's going to be going for a timing attack. He has also started plus one attack. So we're not going to be seeing a Stargate here either. I think we're probably going to be seeing a relatively early robotics facility, probably after the second and third gateway, and then looking for a faster third here. Yeah, unfortunately, Bishu does not spot the Queen transferring over. He went around the other way. So, oh, he, now he misses the drone transfer as well. So he can't really confirm the presence of a third base, though he would no doubt suspect it, considering that he's expanded. But it's always nice to get that kind of confirmation. Uh, Bishu's mind-gaming himself right now. And when I say that, is he went to scout the third or the destructible rocks being destroyed. And he's like, oh, he isn't killing the rocks. He may be going for this all in, and he's built a third cannon too. So there's literally 300 minerals been wasted now. And unfortunately for him, he's just been overly cautious now. And Stefano is playing greedy. He's got a third base up, he's droning. He's only just now started the gas income, only just now starting speed. So, you know, Bishu's mind gaming himself now, getting a second and third gateway up a lot later than they would have liked to be up, simply because he thought there was going to be that aggression coming out. 
Yeah, that's really unfortunate when you end up defeating yourself because of your own paranoia, and that's really what ended up happening there. And that, then the Zealot refuses to die, unfortunately. Stefano are not able to deal with that. But we're going up to Lair right here, and His we've got the Roach Roran. blocked as well. Oh, my. Stuck not a good 44. start. Four, two pylons having to be made at the same time. Um, Bishu, sorry, is just falling apart here. And I don't know why, and I don't know what the problem is, but he's not playing the same. We could see DTs come out now if he throws down the Dark Shrine. He may try a bit of a gamble here to actually pull this game back. Um, I mean, he could go for Blink, but at the same time, he's, he's so far behind by mind gaming himself. Three cannons, pylon block, that he may take a gamble in a Dark Shrine. And there it is coming down. The Dark Shrine's been placed down. He knows he's just owning himself right yeah, now. Yeah, pretty much. And going for a Dark Shrine... It's, a, it's a, a kind of a risk take. If it if it happens and it pulls off, great. He's going to be so far ahead. But if it doesn't work, he's going to be in trouble. Yeah, he will be. And Dark Shrine's always sort of an all or nothing kind of thing. It's such a massive investment. You go down one specific tech path. You invest a load of gas, especially on two bases. You're throwing all of your gas into Dark Templar. Usually you're warping in three or perhaps four to try and do some damage. Mm -hmm. And then if Stefano's able to smell that, he get, say he gets an evolution chamber out, which he does already have, and starts to place spore crawlers, all goes for an overseer, which is now even cheaper than it used to be. You can shut that down, and that's a lot of gas invested and well those zealots are just charging it suicidally for no apparent reason basically what's going on now is Stefano's expecting a, a two base timing attack yep. he's expecting very similar to how we saw grubby play and he's built a lot of units he can't really do anything because of the three cannons and force fields there but at the same time he's not expecting to have these dts come in two pylons have been placed by the third base the dark shrine has finished in comes the warp in very very shortly, there they are. Three DTs are going to come in. And this base is naked. Even though there's so many Roach and Links, Stefano is either expecting a two-base timing attack or an early third base. Neither are happening right now. It's DTs, something he's not expecting. The third base is under fire. He's trying to get it down. The Overseer will not make in time. No, it's dead. Bishu's going to be in a great position from here on out. Yeah, was, that's what you have to do. And uh, It was a good gamble. I like it an awful lot. So Bishu was able to uh, deal with that. He does need to get out of there before the Overseer spots it and a uh, surround it ends up happening from those links. They're streaming out, trying to find them, and more to the point, trying to kill the pylon that they came from. Uh, I think he spotted that. There you go. He's seen one that template. He's probably... No, did he see the blur? I don't think he did see the blur, but he will have seen the pylon there as well. And that's interesting. Stefano going for sort of a ninja expansion up to the top right here, and sweeping around to make sure that that doesn't get picked up. Uh, and once again, Bishu snipes the third base. So important to do. And he's going to be able to successfully get up his third base very, very shortly here. He's fortified it very well because he realizes there's so many Roach and Link out right now. He could very easily lose it because he's invested so much in Dark Templar. He doesn't really have a ground army. So these cannons are going to easily protect this third base and he's going to be looking in quite good position. This third pylon, or this other pylon, sorry, has not been scouted on the left-hand side of the map. Um, Stefano thinks that he killed the only pylon around for DTs, so this could be a pain in the backside for Stefano. It could very well be. He'll see if he spots that probe and then gets a little bit of a feel as to what's going on. Bishu just checking to make sure that there's not been any re-expand there or any kind of nonsense along those lines. Those three Dark Templar could prove to be a pain. And Bishu's past wondering, ha, huh, right, okay, so where have you expanded to then? If you haven't re-expanded already behind that, he sees a double drone transfer up to the top. He must surely be suspecting there's something hidden around here. And the DTs are going to walk to their death. They are on the plank hop, skip, and jump, and they're going to go off because as soon as they go up there, they're going to get surrounded by the sp well, the spore crawl is going to give the detection. The lings are then going to kill them all, unfortunately. So they are going to die very, very shortly, but Oh, there they are. Yep. There's off the plank. And Total Biscuits on the front and kicks them off. Yeah, pretty much. I'm not responsible for this. I don't know why you're blaming me. But actually, Bishu is able to sneak past. And then, oh, look, there's an Overseer. So yeah. Bishu needs to split up right now. Otherwise, they're all going to die. I have a feeling they're going to die. Anyway, he, see, he sees them. No, no, he's giving them oh, the slip. I, didn't see, I don't think he saw him at the top Bishu, the master of hide and seek. He is, and they will survive. And they will live to fight another day. And uh, that could be another pain for Stefano it later could on. Be, yeah. But meanwhile, Stefano is getting upgrades now, so, uh, nice and slowly, kind of stabilizing with his economy. Look at his supply, 174. Very large. But at the same time, this is a roach heavy army, so the supply isn't that big in reality. The no. army isn't that big at all. But he does have plus two on the way, plus one armor being researched, a fourth base being taken. He is going into his investors as well, pathogen glands on the way. And now basically, Bishu just has to hold against any pressure. He has an army. Uh oh. 
if he moves down and gets caught out of position, that would be horrible. Yeah, he needs to be very, very careful with that, honestly. And looking for a massive roach bust through this extremely heavily fortified area. Oh, that pylon blocked again as well. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. But Stefano's not going to be able to get in there. It's as simple as that. So he does at least have some time. He can catch up a bit. The wonderful thing about being Protoss is that even if you do start to bank up a lot of minerals, it's quite easy to spend them if you've got enough production facilities. Oh, huge pylon block here. 26 for a long time. Three pylons going down at once. He's chrono boosting into the robotics facility, trying to get a Colossus out, but that's not going to work. And he's actually been stunted at this supply count for a long time. And it looks like the DTs have come to say hello to the drones. Uh, yes, and the drones are trying to fight them, which is a terrible idea. And he's able to assassinate that, but he can't take the spore crawler out in time. He needs to leave immediately. Now, I think he's realized that those are finally doomed. But that pylon still survives and uh, on the left-hand side, and he can easily warp in more DTs again and go back up there. Yep. Um, and he could even go down to this new base, but Stefano's macro getting out of control now. And Bishu has basically... He's hurting himself more than Stefano is hurting him, simply because of all these pylon blocks, uh, the three cannons and so on. So he's really struggling in this game, but he is finally starting to get up to a decent supply count. He's almost going to get supply blocked again if he doesn't build any pylons. 158 out of 166. Has to be so careful about these small things, and at this skill level, that will make the world of difference. Yes, it will. He's going out with a uh, smaller supply army. It is heavily upgraded. And uh, this, I mean, this isn't really a timing of any sort, honestly. He's about to finish extended thermal lance, but with only one Colossus, it doesn't really make all the sense to do it. Getting engaging on creep as well. The force fields have got to be good, and that is not what I would call good force field. Those are okay. He's got to back off just a little bit. He's still taking unnecessary roach fire. There he is. And is able to do some damage and kill at least 30 supply worth of units. That said, they will be replenished fairly rapidly by Stefano. And more Zealots have been warped in at this top base. Can't really use DTs because there's Spore Crawlers and Spine Crawlers, but these Zealots are going to be able to do a lot of damage. Four Spines though, not so yep. upgraded Zealots, especially with armor. They are going to fall relatively fast here, but maybe able to do damage and distract Stefano. Stefano's going to go up. Maybe Bishu can kill the Spines while he's gone. Yeah, perhaps. Uh, I'd, I don't know if there's really enough Zealous to do that, honestly, but he, he's doing okay with it. If he'd waited for the plus three, then he would have carved his way through that much, much faster. But as it stands, it's not really going to do much. But as I said, it's a bit of a distraction. Roaches have now been forced to move up there. Another wave of Zealots as well. I think he really needs to hold, wait, don't go in, and then go in afterwards to follow that one up. And a huge fight down here now. And uh-oh, Bishu's a little bit surrounded. Good from the growth as well. Yep, the Colossus falls, and Investor Count has gone ridiculous. And uh, thankfully, he's able to stop most of those Investors getting anywhere near. Investor Terrans and, of course, Fungal Growth could do extreme damage. There is one Colossus still up, and the plus three is helping out to smash through that base at the moment. The Zealots did charge in, and they're trying to eliminate these Spine Crawlers up to the top. I uh, don't think he's got enough, though, with Roaches coming to back it up. Uh, a little bit too heavy in the Investors, really. Not enough ground units, and you can see that as uh, the Investors are left like, oh, wait, where are the attacking units Oh, yeah, gone? I don't have any, yeah. And uh, Bishu does snipe this. He is going up to a fleet beacon right now. He is going to be going for the Mothership very, very shortly, and that is one way to combat all this very ground-heavy army is to vortex them vortex smartly. It. Yep, and a not-so-great engagement there for Stefano. Good force field placement. A lot of investors annihilated right there. A massive fungal growth, but it wasn't enough to kill anything. And continuing to smash his way through there. The investors thrown back. Now Stefano trying to push his way in. The reinforcements coming in from the back. One Colossus sniped off. Shields down on the second. Nowhere near enough as Bishu throws Stefano's army back again. Uh, Bishu's got to be careful. Does not want to stay around because the reinforcements, 14 more roaches are on the way. Yep. The fleet beacon has finished now. What are we going to see in that production tab? He has enough money. Is he going to be throwing down that mothership? He should be doing it very, very shortly. He is warping in more stalkers. Storm on the way as well. And he's about to take a fourth base, which is fantastic for, uh, for Bishu. If he wants to stay in this game, he needs a fourth base up and running. Mothership on the way. And we are seeing some use of this lately. The Vortex and, of course, the recall ability is proving to be very, very useful. More to the point, will he survive this engagement? I'm fairly sure that he will. He wants to try and snipe off the Corruptors. Keeping the Corruptor count low is quite crucial for this Mothership play to work. So Mothership and Storm's going to be coming out very, very shortly. Bishu has to be careful, though. He's, I know he's putting on a lot of pressure, but if he loses everything here, 20 links are about to pop out. He does have plus three attack, Bishu, but he doesn't have any armor upgrades, which means these links are going to tear them apart super fast. Broodlaws are on the way now as well. And uh, more Zealots charging down here, and this base is undefended compared... 
compared to the other one. Yeah, and that, that'll be taken out so fast by Zealots with plus three. No real doubt about that. And Roach is streaming in to try and deal with that. And it looks like a multitasking right here from Stefano. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, he almost took out that High Templar right there. But he uh, keeps that one alive. This base has now been successfully defended. Stefano is not really being stressed out by the attacks of Bishu at the moment. Bishu needs to take a fourth base. He is able to place it down now. He just needs to go ahead and, and do it. Um, yeah. Because he's, he's getting mined out in his main base and on the natural too. If he wants to keep playing this game, he has to expand shortly. And these roaches are going to go there and be like, oh, you still haven't expanded? Oh, that's really bad of you. And uh, they're going to die anyway. But at the same time, they're expecting to kill probes right now. But the army of Bishus is getting pretty strong now. The mothership is out. And there is not too much. Five corruptors being made. That will help out. This is going to be tough, though, because the, the, the uh, Mothership doesn't quite have enough energy for a Vortex. Uh, 35 energy away from that, but still, these invisible units are going to be able to do a lot of damage, especially with plus three before they actually get revealed. Yeah, and there's only a single Overseer, which could be sniped by the use of Blink Stalkers, if need be, assuming it's even anywhere near the base, which it doesn't actually appear to be. It'll surely be coming in right now, and the Mothership has now been revealed. Bishu not able to engage just yet, however. And uh, the fungal growth is going to reveal a lot of these units as well, remember. So that's why we are going to see a lot of fungal growth coming down. Will this army be good enough? Great placing infested Terrans there. They are so good and terrible for Bishu if he wants to fight. Yeah, Bishu didn't really get a good engagement there, but a big storm in the center. And it cleans up the majority of that, looking really, really nice. And he will he be vortex, able to push his way forward? Vortex. He can. The Vortex goes uh. down. He sucks in a couple of Broodlords, which is not quite enough. I think an Investor slid in there as well, just because it felt like... In fact, he's diving in with some of the investors right now. And uh, Bishu, th this fight is rather hard to call because out comes everything. The investors are annihilated. I think Stefano does not actually have enough units here. The uh, investor count is really low and it's lacking in energy. Bishu can do this right now. Oh, he definitely can because everything is invisible. He has enough fungals, but not that many more left. And oh, Bishu's pushing through now. These units are basically invisible. Bishu... It's just going to roll through and Stefano can't see his death. Uh, finally, three Overseers come out, but what are you going to do when the Blink Stalkers come for you? GG, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. And Bisha wow. with an absolutely fantastic win right there against Stefano.